Hey there. So I get so many questions uh, emailed in um, requesting more information on Asana and how that exactly works as far as your routines and your projects and then how that coincides with your contact space next actions list. So I thought I would just do a really quick video here just to kind of show you um, again how to get things set up and rolling um, just to hopefully to make this a little bit more streamlined. Um, Everyone has their own little tweak when it comes to Asana, but I'm just gonna show you what I do and how it works for me, and um, hopefully it is helpful. Okay, so first things first, with Asana, they have this little segment over here, and they call this little segment their project list. So right here, you can see this little plus, and you can add a project right in there, and you can create any type of project that you would like to, um, and it's really, really convenient. Uh, in order to do that to, um, oops, let me cross back out of here, um, in order to set up anything that you would like to. What I want to do, first of all, um, is to encourage you to just make two projects to start off with, one for your routines and one for your projects. So for mine, I just called them Jill's routines and then Jill's projects. So if you are using for Asana for home and um, for work, you could make a separate uh, segment over here and you could do Jill's work routines and Jill's uh, work projects and keep them all here together. However, here at Learn Do Become, we use Asana as a team. So this is just my personal Asana that I'm using and you can see I just called it the A-team because my last name's Adam, so I just made that name up. But anyway, I invited all of my children and my husband to all be a part of this just to kind of see how it would work as we move forward with just different family projects and things. Um, it didn't work quite as well as what I originally had hoped. Um, but anyway, I'm still using Asana and absolutely, absolutely love it. And uh, my husband is hooked up to it now. So if I have a project going on that I need to assign to him, he'll get a notification. Um, so it's just it's a beautiful system. So to start off with, again, just create two simple uh, segments over here for routines and projects. When you're looking at your routines, again, you just want to start off with a brainstorm. So just take a sheet of paper and just start brainstorming. What are the things that you want to get done on a daily basis, a weekly basis, monthly, maybe quarterly, semi-annually, annually, just anything that comes to mind and just start there. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means, but just go ahead and get those brainstorms in, you know, out of your head onto a sheet of paper. And then from there, you could simply input them into Asana where you know that you could always come back and add to these. So as you're right here creating your sections for um, keeping all of your projects and your routines uh, categorized, it's really simple. You can just use this little blue tab here to start off with a section. So you can hit the tab N or just click add section. And what that's going to do is just pull up a little um, bold heading here to start with. So again, you can already see that I just made one um, called daily. So, you know, you would just simply type it in and there it is for you. You can backspace to delete it. Just very simple. Then if you want to add a task, just simply hit that button. And, you know, here you go. You can just type away. You can hit the return key. That'll add another task for you. You know, when you're done with task A here, B, you know, you could just very easily type all, all your tasks right here. So again, go ahead and do your brainstorm, get all of that out, and here's your routines. Once you're up and going in the system, you don't need to be looking at your routines every day, but it is something we encourage you to review in your weekly review. The reason why is we want to make sure that you are um, getting to all of those daily and weekly routines, um, just to make sure that you are accomplishing all of your goals and um, aspirations. So it's not something that you necessarily have to be logging into every day and like checking your routines. As you're getting started, that's completely fine if you'd like to do that. But as you get going, you'll see that you, it's just something you need to revisit and, you know, kind of tweak as you go along. So about once a week works out really, really well for me. Now, over here on projects, um, so with this one, I um, I went ahead and started um, this year just writing down some of my goals for 2019 just to kind of start off my um, project list just so, again, I would kind of see them um, on a more frequent basis and um, just kind of keep them at the forefront of my mind to make sure that all of my projects and goals and life choices are all kind of all in alignment. So I just kind of liked putting those here at, at the top. So then what we would want you to do is go ahead and make sections for current projects, next in line projects, and someday projects. So this has just really, really been helpful for me because I actually use Asana as my mind sweep. I started off again with just a piece of paper and just kind of got everything out of my brain. Um, so the bottom down here is just kind of more of my uh, mind sweep, just different things. Um, some people don't like having it all on, you know, one Asana sheet, but I really like that it's just here and simple. It's just all in one spot so I can, you know, 
cruise down here and find something, you know, as far as traveling, you know, maybe we have a space in our schedule that opens up and I'm like, oh, traveling, where is it that I want to go? I have a travel section here in Asana, so I'm just going to go and look at that real quick. So I find it really, really helpful to have everything right here to be able to move so easily in between all of my sections. So up here under my current projects, um, you can see that I have um, several uh, listed here. At Learn to Become, we have a team account actually through Asana where we can all message and work together on our different projects. So that is actually under a different user account. If for some reason you would want to have two different user accounts, you could simply do that here um, to add in another um, workspace. So mine are here, my A-team one, which is my family one, and then my Learn to Become one um, that I work out of. So if you needed a second workspace, you could simply add it there. All right, so back to our different projects. So under our current projects, again, you're just making that a section. If for some reason you'd need to, you know, move uh, your different projects between like your next in line or someday, you can simply pick it up, drag it, drop it, just like that. It moves so easily. It's absolutely wonderful. Now, you can also see under my projects that I have um, some tags here just like I do up here underneath my goals. I kind of um, just like the color coding here of the different goals and um, with my different projects so I can kind of see where my balance is um, to see if I'm actually doing any projects for myself, which tends to be a struggle for me. I tend to do many, many more family projects than me projects. So if you would like to do that yourself, you could simply cl click on whatever project it is. And then over here, you will see that it pops up a new window and you can add in as many subtasks as you would like over here as you're brainstorming that project. So again, getting everything out of your brain that needs to happen for that project and just jot it down here. Then to add a tag to the project, um, whether it's for you, your family or beyond, um, you could even make, you know, a volunteering tag, a work tag. You can do anything you want to with your tagging, but that's really simple too. just click on these three little dots, come down here and click add tags. If you want to create a new one, you can just type in whatever that new tag is and it'll sign a color for you, which you can later edit as well. Um, but there you go. And it just um, pops right in there for you and just kind of gives a little bit more organization as far as that is concerned. So I really like that you can um, have as many subtasks for a project as you possibly need. So for this subtask, let's just pretend like I needed some extra subtasks for just this one task. So you could simply click on that little bubble and then it pops up into another window again where you can create even more subtasks for that project. So that works really, really nice. Um, on this one, you can see that it is actually um, my next item that I am ready to do as far as this project of recovering our chairs. You can see that these two are already checked off. And this is something I've been experimenting with a little bit, which you definitely do not need to do. It's kind of taking it to a whole nother level. Um, but I did create a third section over here for um, my context space next actions list. Um, I truly do like using my paper planner for this better um, than I do a digital version. But I've just kind of been playing around with it um, back and forth at different times just to see what I like. And, you know, again, just having things digital is always nice. So with this one, this is my next um, item that I have here. So, again, if I just click over into this item, you can assign things to multiple um, segments over here. So even though I'm right here, I'm working on my next task that is cut material to size. And this task is listed under here under my current projects, which is obviously in Jill's project. You can assign it to other segments if you would have the need to or whatever have the desire to kind of set up your Asana in this way as well. You can just simply again come up here to these three dots and you would just click add to another project. And so let's just pretend like I haven't done this one yet. Okay. For some reason. All right. All right. So we are going to go ahead and add this to another project. So if we go up here and we click on the three little dots and we just click add to project, you can see that all of your segments that are over here are actually listed right here. So again, I've kind of been playing around with this. So if this is like my my next task, I'm going to add it to my weekly next actions list. Then there's a little drop down menu right here. And then all of the sections 
again, these are your sections, the bold titles, all of the sections that are listed in my weekly next actions list, all of those are gonna pop up right here for me to see. So for this task, cutting my material to size, that is actually a home project. So I'm gonna go ahead and click home. And so that way, now this is still showing up here in, um, my, in my actual project. Right here, current projects, recover the chairs in the kitchen. But now it's also showing up this one next step of mine in the project weekly next actions over here. So if I wanted to keep track of all of my next actions, I could definitely do that over here. Again, it's just a little bit cumbersome. I feel like taking that extra step um, within Asana, but if you're really loving Asana and you really just wanna have every minute detail here, it is possible. That's just another way that you could do it um, that I wanted to show you. So um, again, for me, I really, um, I, I still like my paper planner and I, I have my weekly next actions just right there, but that's um, just something that I wanted to show you if you had an interest of kind of going another step further. So hopefully that just clarifies things just a little bit as far as Asana, setting up the different sections, how to do it with routines and projects. Um, if you only use Asana for one thing, the absolute beauty of this program is in the project setup. So if you can only do one thing, I definitely recommend um, using it for your projects. I absolutely love the setup. If you like more of a board view when you're setting up your project, you can certainly um, set up a board view as well. This is the list view. And, um, and again, it just really works well for me to just um, for the way my brain works, I guess. So Anyway, hopefully that answers um, your questions for today. Um, if you um, have any other questions or you want to ask me anything um, specifically about how I use Asana or um, any little tidbits, let me know. I'm not saying I have all the answers as they keep updating things even within Asana. So um, as for now, this is what I'm using it for and it's working great. I love, love, love this, this app just because it's helped my brain to really decompress. And um, I just love the clarity that that brings. So anyway, again, hopefully this was helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, have a great day.